explain to us, more babies are dying than fighters in conflict. Why is that? That's right. The numbers are, are incredibly stark and it shows that you, you've said it, it shows that there are that the harm done by conflict is much greater to children than it is to adults and to combatants. Um, why is that? It's because uh, a few reasons. One is uh, wars are being waged at levels of brutality that I think many of us thought were going to decrease as time went on. Uh, wars are being waged in cities. Uh, access to aid is being blocked, frequently deliberately blocked, which means the children are not getting access to basics, food, to healthcare, to clean water. And we're seeing that in conflict after conflict. So what can the international community do to protect these children and babies? Well, I'm actually here in Munich today where leaders, defence ministers, foreign ministers are meeting and they have a big security conference. And we're making the argument that there is a war on children going on and it's a war that everybody has, has to take some responsibility for. Now, there are practical things that could be done by the, those warring parties who are committing the violations. Those warring parties who are blocking aid can right away stop blocking aid, for example. But there are also things that other governments can do. Governments who are turning a blind eye who, or who are supporting the perpetrators of violations in different ways, whether that's by selling them weapons or by giving them diplomatic cover. So really every government who's meeting here in Munich today can take steps. They can do things like track the civilian harm that is done in conflict. They can take measures to keep schools safe by keeping militaries out of schools. So we presented a set of options, a set of recommendations that we want governments to take and we're encouraging every single government to take some of those recommendations to improve the standard for all combatants everywhere. And very briefly now, but this report makes very disturbing reading and it details how children are being abused and involved in conflict uh, increasingly. Uh, what effect is that having on their lives? Oh, for many children, it's devastating. I was in Yemen recently where I was talking to children whose school had been blown up. So they'd seen their friends being killed. Some of them had been injured. Many of them were traumatized. And of course, they were then being educated in sweltering tents instead of in a school. Now, all of that is preventable. And also practical action could be taken to restore those children's futures, to help them recover and to help them go on to have prosperous lives. And the, and the last thought I want to leave you with is that actually the interesting thing is those kids were hopeful, right? They had smiles on their faces because they still believed they were going to have a prosperous future. And it seems to me that it's on us, in the, the adults in the world, to really make sure that that becomes a reality.